Hi everyone, so this is my second review of the Pentel brush pen. If you haven't seen the first one, go check it out. I'll put a link in the box below. Uh, I didn't really give it a very favourable review the first time, but it's because I'd only just unboxed it and the ink wasn't flowing as well as it should be. So this review is going to be a little bit more positive. Oh, and I'll just say if you hear any noises in the background, it's just my bunny rabbits jumping around. So as you can see, I'm just sketching out an image to ink. It's just a picture of a girl's face. I didn't use any references or anything, I just um, drew it from memory of what a human face looks like. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's nothing amazing. and. I just thought it would be the best way to show off the pen because I could do some nice long brush strokes on her hair and then also try and get some detail in her face. Um, not much detail because it, I know that it is quite hard to get a lot of fine details with the Pentel brush pen but you know I thought it could be a little bit more finer on her facial features than the hair. So with my previous review, I noticed that the ink didn't flow very well out of the brush pen. Now I really do think that that is because I'd only just unboxed it and I'd only just put the cartridge in. Although I did leave it for a little while, while I was doing that review, I don't think I left it for long enough. So this review here was done um, a couple of days later. So there you go, there's the actual pen, that's what it looks like. And see the split in the hairs in the brush at the top? That doesn't happen very often, but you can see in a moment I do sort of use a, a tissue to sort of push them back together. Because this first stroke, which I'm sorry is out of focus, it came out as sort of two separate lines and yeah, I thought it was just going to be a disaster from the start, but I managed to sort of fix it and sort of get some kind of decent line happening. And you can see here, just, just pushing the the bristles back together and they didn't split again throughout the whole process so it was fine. So I started out fairly slowly although this is in real time and it does go back to speed painting afterwards but I just wanted to show you how slowly I was actually using the pen. It's kind of difficult to get really controlled straight lines when you're doing it slow. I mean I don't know about anyone else but my hands shake like crazy. So it's, it's much easier to get really smooth lines when you go fast. But in my first review, I noticed when you go fast with the pen, it breaks up the ink. It's like the ink can't run fast enough to keep up with you. But I did find that since this was done a few days afterwards and the ink had a chance to run down into the bristles, it did, like, it did catch up. So you could do fast strokes and not have it break up and look really dry. So you can see I've sped it up again now. I think it's roughly around 800% or 1000%, but do let me know what speed you'd like to see the videos in. I'm never sure what's the best. So with the hair, I found that I was getting a little bit more confident with the brush strokes, so I did go a little bit faster. It also helps to go a bit faster doing like strokes like the hair because I found it really hard to keep things accurate when going slowly. But I also did find that the pen could actually keep up with going faster, like the ink flowed really well. So you can see I'm thickening up some of the lines around the hair, but it was quite hard to keep them neat and tidy. And please ignore that horrible line on her shoulder. You'll see later on that I fix it up. I just had the angle of view was just skewed, so I messed that up completely. Oh, and look, I got it back into focus. Yay me. So, overall, I think I do actually like this pen. The only bad thing I've got to say about it is nothing to do with the pen at all. It's just, I just need to practice. So I'm so pleased that I did buy this pen and I'm really looking forward to using it more in the future. Now for this image, I did do a Copic 3 marker challenge, but I hated it and <laughs> I'm not gonna show it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this was really helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.